Overcomer. It's Freedom Friday where we highlight an overcomer of addiction. Today's overcomer says his addiction is one that stays hidden and why he's trying to bring what he formerly felt to the light. The topic tends to stay behind closed doors and in the dark. We all have these God-sized holes within our lives that we try to fill it with things of the world. Chris Langland says he found himself in a dark place because of a sex addiction. Uh, I had several emotional and physical affairs, um, which led to a divorce in 2015, and that brought me to my bottom. Langland says working in the Army ICU overseas took an emotional toll. But while serving as a VA nurse, once he came back home, Langland said a patient ended up helping him heal. He told me that he was on the beaches of Normandy on D-Day. For me, I felt like my entire world stood still because for me, I was still battling all these demons within my mind. The World War II veteran told the Iraq veteran he'd struggled with alcoholism and was suicidal for years until he found Jesus. That led to the molding of Chrome, a 30-acre men's retreat in Mariana. Now I get to do what I love for a living um, and just pour back into the lives of other men. Langland said his heavenly father cleaned the tarnish off his past, leaving him with a shiny future. The only thing that can truly satisfy someone is Christ. The former school now houses more than 100 beds for a men's discipleship and recovery program. With his wife back by his side, you might say the couple has a full house. We've been remarried now for about five years, and um, we started fostering. We had close to 30 kids in our home within a matter of a couple years. Um, adopted two kids through the foster system. But he says there is still plenty of room at his ministry thanks to the generous donations from the community. I'll put the information for you to contact Chrome Retreat on WJHG.com. And if you're struggling with suicidal thoughts of your own, remember you can call 988 anytime.